I'm Elytra. Red Smash! And welcome back to The Flash. Alright, so last time on The Flash. Last time on The Flash. Honestly, one of the best episodes of the season. So far, I think. There was quite a few this season for me. But Enter Flash time was pretty awesome. Just seeing a different dynamic. And when all in reality, it took place within eight minutes. Yeah, exactly. And we got to see uh, notable speedsters come back for a little bit. Mm -hmm. And we got to see some vulnerability from speedsters, which was really cool to see. Yeah, it just shows that they're not all powerful and stuff. Exactly. And to help us further recap what happened on last week's episode, here are this week's Stardust Spotlights. This was one of, if not the best, episode of The Flash. Iris coming through with the idea to save the city. Yes. Now, no one can talk about her not doing anything. Ugh, seeing the speedsters push themselves. Great. Also, we got some emotional moments between Wes Allen and, well, Harry and Jesse. Uh, it was good all around. And Jay's gonna train someone new. Wonder who that'll be. That was a very intense episode. Uh, Iris helped Barry st stop a nuclear bomb. Uh, very, very interesting way to used to speed force very effective as well great, great special effects uh, great to see Jay Garrick and Jesse Quick again and uh, trying to see who is this mystery girl at the end well, other than that great episode guys uh, see you guys next week bye this is the flash season 4 episode 16 run iris run we alter each bus man's DNA by performing intercellular surgery and what we turn them into chickens yeah. You're still here? What? Just like Vaughn. Oh, we gotta go talk to Vaughn. Is that what you're doing? We are on a real genius. I'll find a bit of an outthink the thinker. You know what? I'm not sure this thinking cap is the best idea you've ever had. It's an intelligence booster. Neurochemical engineering powered by the dark energy from the particle accelerator He's explosion. So smart, and Harry. Build our own. So can I. Yes, but I now he has to hop into different bodies. Will we finally stop the yeah. vote. Not, not me. I mean, he's gonna go for it, right? Right? I, oh, he's wearing a Friday the 13th shirt. Yes. That turned a mac and cheese loving pacifist into a homicidal maniac. You put that cap on, what's it gonna do to you? I ran the numbers dozens of times, the math and the chemistry check out. I can do this. That's really cool, guys. I can understand where Cisco's coming from. I understand why Ralph's upset. You go, Dr. Hallway! Yeah, that's right, you are. But you're always back there, hiding, safe and sound. While the rest of us are out in the field, putting our lives on the line. Ooh. Wolf up. Ja! Well dressed, Phyllis. Which dirty sense? The hell? What else? They're gone. All right then, Mr. Fry. How long have you had your powers? Few years. Banished? With the thin air? Huh? All right, Cisco. I'm still gonna get terminated. Oh my god. I'm Sarah Connor. No. I'm gonna go back to my room. Fry walks into the bank with his fire powers, meets this other guy. And then his powers are gone. Coincidence? I think not. So you think this guy did something to Fry? She's going to see that. You mm -hmm. know what would be great is if she was still a reporter, she I'll can just, just go gonna... interview him for an article. Okay. That's just me, though. Not hating on her character. Just feel like that'd be more fluid writing. Right. What kind of underwear am I wearing? And the answer is not... Then all that from your fancy metal cap, your head is on fire. <laughs> it's not. Sorry, Harry. You tried. I just want people to know that I am not afraid to go out in the field every once in a while. You never you were as a reporter. Ralph. Ralph, you should talk. You won't even leave the Sorry. Building. I know. But... Sorry, rant time. I'm not hating on her character, but it's like the writers are wanting you to forget that she 
went out on the field as a living, you know, as a reporter that did all these badass stuff before. They want you to forget that she did all those amazing things. You forget she put herself on the line then too, so what's different now? And I read some comments, you guys think that we're hating on her character, we're not. She, I just, in our opinion, we think she's poorly written this season. She deserves better. This character deserves better. Candace Patton deserves better, you know? It would have been better if you would have just kept her as a journalist and did it that way. You want to go investigate DeVoe's house and go say that you're going to do a report and article like, Oh my god, your husband's alive, what do you think? Dig up some dirt. You know, you can do that because you're a reporter. I saw a comment on our last reaction that said the writers wanted everyone in a team dynamic, how it's easier for them to do like shows based on where everyone's in the same place, which I kind of get, but then it's also lazy writing. It's lazy. It's like, you guys did a great job season two and three when you were diving more into her as a journalist, doing those crazy things and investigating people, putting her life on the line. And it's just like, I'm the leader, by the way. I'm the leader. I'm the leader. I lead. I thought the Flash was the leader. Well, it, here's the thing. A leader doesn't tell more highly skilled people what to do. That's more like a bossy person. There's a difference between being a leader and a boss. Being a boss is being over people and just commanding them and telling them what to do. There's a difference. This is what it is. It's just she's a boss. And it's not work. It's a team in the ways you can. Mm -hmm. You don't need to tell them, well, I do this. I'm the leader of you guys. Even though it just, that does, you don't say that as a leader. That's not what you do. And so. that's why I feel like you guys are right. Because a lot of you put out, like, it's not necessarily her fault. We're not saying it is. The writing, like, they feel like they have to put her on the team to make her, like, relevant. She had a purpose before. People are just forgetting that. I know everyone said that she didn't get a lot of screen time season one, like like previously. It's like, you know what? I could see it season one. You're right. She didn't get a lot of screen time because the main character was Barry. But now that we've gotten to know him more, and in season two and three, as she, again, did her journalist bit, and she did all of her investigations that way, even knowing she was dying last season, that like, so Avatar was going to kill her, she still risked everything to go out there and do her journalism and do what she had to do. Yeah. That's pretty awesome and that's pretty badass and I wish the writers would not have to force the character in this position. Well, it's just shitty that they would, the writers would say, well, it's easier to have rich people in one place. Sure. Does that make it better or less not not lazy? It's lazy as hell. Well, let's just write a way to have them all be together. I know I'm ranting a long time, but Iris has been in the comics for so many years, and she was badass in her own right then. She did well season one through season three, building herself up, finding her own confidence, being independent and not depending on anyone to be a badass character. She does that all on her own, and I don't know what's going on with her this season where they feel like they need to force her to be like, oh, I'm the leader, I'm important. It's like, we know that, honey. You were yeah. important before. That's you were valuable before. You were smart, independent, strong, headstrong, all before. You don't need to be on Team Flash to do it. You didn't need Team Flash to do it. You didn't need to be stuck to Barry's hip to do it. You didn't need to be all that to be badass. Done. Oh, there it is. Uh, guys? Oh. <laughs> oh, I like how she's purple lightning, though. That's pretty cool. Yes. He can remove the meta DNA from the boat. Did that work? Ooh. I mean, yeah. It could. Melting point. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta write that down. Okay, great. So, <laughs> you gotta just figure out how to get this Mr. Melting Point train. I do like the purple lightning. That's pretty cool. I like the color purple. What are you doing? I'm updating some software. Oh, good. So nothing. Great. I need your help. You can work on your death cap. Now is everybody yeah, hating on the death cap? What is it? Two. Here, there's plenty of tools on Earth too. Yeah, well, I'm on Earth one. It's not mine. It's not mine. Fine. Cisco, I know you're trying to protect Harry, but come on, man. Cisco, why can't you just help him? His brain. Have you not seen Spider-Man two? No. How can you live with yourself? might be dangerous, but it also might work. <laughs> okay, that's ideas. different because it's a movie. Besides, there's, there's a difference. Else, See, well, that doesn't make sense I mean, anymore. It doesn't make sense. Do 
lost my job at CCPD. Oh. It just feels like the bow is slowly taking everything away from me. He hasn't taken everything away. It's tradition. Every speedster needs to wear a Stars Labs sweatshirt. Exactly. When they train. Caitlin is gonna find something. Until then, you just have to watch me like I've watched you these last three years. Yeah, I guess so. Wow, that's super annoying. Because they even need to send that. Oh, she just stripped her. <laughs> yep. Thank you, Jesse Quick. Oh, she's borrowing Jesse. Yes. Okay. Oh, Ooh, CGI. I kill the frost. You have to vibrate the whole body. Okay? The ceiling's gonna collapse. Kill the frost could freeze it. The whole place is going up. Yeah, there you go. At least you saved the people. Let's just go. Work with Harry. You stimulate your synapses without using dark matter. I have no dark matter. Smart. Two. You can vibe me back to my earth, okay? Okay. Let's go. Then make it Earth 2's problem if right. that happens. Exactly. It's like, oh, well, I'm sorry, Jesse, we fucked up your dad. But here you go. No, not to all of you, to me. Mary, when I was a reporter, I was oh. always in the field putting myself in danger for a story. And after last year, for some reason, that just stopped. Maybe it was because of Savitar, maybe because you were gone into the Speed Force. I don't know, but I quit my job. So she quit. Oh, she quit. And now, for the most part, I just stay here while all of you are out there putting your lives okay. on the line. I don't think they ever mentioned that. They no, don't. That's that's, that's the problem. They're just kind of, it's like a band-aid on a big wound. Okay, I got it. I'm the one that has it. It's my turn to do what all of you have been doing. Okay, now this makes sense you now a little bit. Well, they should have said that from the beginning. They never said that though. That's the problem. Okay, I'm actually happy. Now, there's a theory I'll say at the end. Stand down. Oh, I don't think so, copper. Oh, he gave it to the one guy. Is that a Wonder Woman? Never mind, no time. Wow, now he's just a dickhead. You got this, Cyrus. So now you're oh. okay. I do like her shoe. Yeah. <laughs> so funny. <laughs> the fucking smile. He's like, you were expecting me. <laughs> oh, that's the last time I'm using this power. Actually, it was almost. I thought I was choosing for a higher purpose. You are difference. Yes, absolutely. Devote shown weakness against other bus medics in the past. Yay! I'll give you the tour. Right. <laughs> no offense, I like my cards. <laughs> <laughs> Last year, when I thought that Savitar was going to kill me, I was scared out of my mind. Savitar had already won. Mm. So I made the decision. Okay. You have a great way to help others too, love. I take back everything I said. Thank you! Finally. It's happening. I owe Christy ten bucks. 
Wow. <laughs> I'll tell you in a minute. Impressive. You go, queen! You go! Thank God! <laughs> Holy... Uh-oh. Oh, God. Right. The last two remaining bus medals. Janet Petty. dark there for a second. Just a bit. Okay. Well then again, you shouldn't mess with your brain. Full okay. disclosure, completely... I still stand by what I said, but um, yeah. we got... I got no indication that's where they were gonna go. However, I had a healthy conversation with Christy because, like a lot of you guys who love Iris, thought... didn't think the same thing that I did. Christy was awesome. We had a great... a good disagreeing conversation. She... <laughs> I mean, in a way, like, we disagreed with each other's opinions, but we weren't at each other's throats trying to shove our opinions down each other's throats and trying to convert each other. We were healthily just like, this is what I think, here's why I think it. And I would listen to her, and so I understand where she's coming from, but she also understood where I was coming from. Yeah. And she told me, and now I owe her ten bucks, she told me she thinks that after Iris gets the powers, because we all knew it was coming with Run I Was Run as a title, yeah. that she would realize her self-worth, find that courage and that strength again, and be go back to writing like she used to and being her badass self after that. So now I owe her ten bucks because she completely called it. Well, yes, no, I totally agree. Uh, great move to finally get that done. Makes a little more sense with the uh, fear for your life, as we saw, but... Um, yeah. Just a couple picks. Because mm -hmm. I'm, I gotta do it. Go ahead. <laughs> Again, it was Iris, you're right, to end an episode. Mm hmm Which, I'm not saying what happened was wrong, but it's just continuous. Again, like I said last episode, when they said, Iris, you're right, it's because she gave Barry an idea, mm -hmm. right, to do it. But again, it was, yes, great job, Iris, you're so right. So they it, don't need to do that. That's what I'm saying. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I don't... Yeah. Abs you know what? Um, she learned from being a speedster. Mm -hmm. She learned how hard Barry has to train and work. Yeah. Um, how difficult it can be to be on the field in that sense and have to react. Um, and yeah, then she's learning to... Exactly. Self-worth. That's, that's great. I'm yeah. glad she's getting back into that. Um, still... <laughs> the boss. See, that's the thing. You're not a boss. That's not the point. Mm -hmm. She didn't even see you later, boss. It's not your boss. It should be your leader. That's, you know, and I keep trying to reinforce what the phrasing is, but a leader contributes equally, which she will be doing. So she's not their boss. She is their leader because she equally contributes in her own way. Yeah, That's and I'm happy. And, like, I didn't know she quit her job. I never mentioned anything till now. That's the thing. That's why I said a band-aid. It's like, she quit. Like, that would be nice to know. I don't know. I mean, you can kind of, like, theorize, but it's like, she has to do something else. Because I still hold true that while she's like, you do this, you do that, I don't know, I'll sit here. It's like, she has free time. That's what I'm saying. She has free time. And you can't deny that that's what she's doing, right? Mm-hmm. Cisco's figuring something out with Harry. Caitlin's working on something with chemistry. Um, Barry um, will, will be with Ralph, figuring out the social aspect of it. Meanwhile, what is she really doing? Well, so what I'm saying is, she has free time to do something. We just didn't know what it was. And now we know she didn't actually have the job. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Makes you wonder how they paid for their like, that's apartment. Well, exactly. That's another thing. They both don't have jobs. I mean, the Star Labs makes money. Oh yeah, because technically it's a museum. Yeah. They their cover is the museum thanks to HR. They just don't reference it a lot. See, okay, my only issue is things would make more sense, and I wouldn't be as upset with the writing if they would at least insert a five second thing. It's like, well, we all get paid because we still have the museum that HR set up thanks to last year and well, stuff. Like, you know, and then yeah. other things like, oh, by the way, Iris quit her job. Just a two sentence thing during any of the sixteen, fifteen episodes up until this point. That would've been great, but. You know what? I'm eating my words. Um, she could continue to be her badass self, and I am, again, we're not hating on her character, just I don't know what this season of writers are doing. 
But we're not hating on them because a lot of good things came out of this season so far, writing-wise. Like, I didn't mind her in the suit. I actually liked the purple a lot, you know, and she learned. Like you said, she learned. Yeah, exactly. Which was great. And also, Barry learned, too, you know? It's... People... This is just general. Just because you're the guy in the chair doesn't mean you're not helpful. That's so what I, I said with Felicity last time. Yeah. I gave her points because, you know what? She does something. And what I mean by that is, yes, can it be a person be there and watch what everybody's doing and say, hey, this person's here, la da 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 right? That's pretty helpful to know what you're, what's going on. But to be able to interact with that space is helping. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. So I gave Felicity points for that. But yeah. Yeah. But this episode was great. Iris in the suit was fantastic. Oh, yeah. I liked her color. I liked how... They made it realistic in the fact that she didn't just get her powers and she's like, oh, I automatically know how to do everything. She was like Barry, season one, episode one, when he's like, how the fuck do I do this? Yeah. What? And all of them kind of went through that. And it was initiation that you have to wear the sweater when you're training, when you become speedster. Yes, exactly. Right. And Wells, let's see, every other things that were great about the episode... You see Joe becoming more a minor thing. Well, maybe not a minor thing. It might come into a big plot point later. But, well... <sighs> Wells. <sighs> Joe preparing to be a father, and yes. they're referencing all these baby stuff. Like, he seems very stressed. I feel like, what if that's a plot point that they're going to throw in our face? Um, we have another bus meta that's on Team Flash now. He's a good guy. Yeah, I like him, Kim. And they had, like, two, like, moments. They're the fucking... <laughs> and then the fucking, where do we start? It's just like, those are classics. Like those. Oh, you like the looks? They're just like the fucking like. Where told you it'd work. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. And then the, where do we start? It's just like it's like and it's classic. It's classic looks and it's hilarious to me because mm -hmm. I love them. And for once, Team Flash is ahead of Devoe, I think. Finding the other best metas. Now, Harry yes. knows the two, but I feel like they are going to play that there is going to be some sort of consequence that he has to deal with by altering his brain like that. I don't think he's going to go full dark, but I feel like he's going to suffer some consequences for emitting that much energy in your brain. Dark matter. Dark well, matter? they haven't used dark matter. Well, yeah, but, right. No, I, I thought you might the future in case he like, enhanced mm. it or something, which might happen. But I get what you're saying. He has to deal with the consequences of this anyway. Yep. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty good episode. Um, finally really gave good. us some answers on some things we've been wanting. And how the first episode, part of the episode was okay, but it led us to something better in the future. Yeah. Which is always a good note to leave that on. So. Yeah, honestly, this episode was really good. I liked all the aspects of it. Everyone learned something. And the story, plot-wise, it's moving along. It's moving towards something. You feel it building. And I feel like... As we know from The Flash, like, it's a really happy show compared to the other CW shows. And then all of a sudden towards the end, that's when shit gets real. So, yes. nervous about that because you feel it building. But we're going to have to see. We're going to have to see. Yep. And I can't wait to see what Iris does now that she's back on the reporting. Mm -hmm. And I don't know if she's just going to do the blog for now and then go back to reporting. Because I'm glad that she recognized, like... I, I ate my words on the sense, like, she recognized, like, I was badass and fearless, you know, when I was a reporter, and then I just stopped after I quit my job, and I'm like, oh, you quit. She's like, yeah, I quit because of the whole Savitar thing. Like, that's understandable. That's all I needed. Just an explanation, yeah, 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 yeah. explanation of that. It's pretty easy to have people explain things. You but, just say. You know what? That happens. But, you know, they finally said... And now she's back to blogging. Whether she'll go back to reporting, Criss Cross hopes so. And she kind of has to if she has to write years later in the future that Barry, the Flash, disappears. Yeah, exactly. 2024? Right? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, 2024. All right, so that was The Flash. What did you guys think of this episode? Highly enjoyed it. I give it a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 sound good? That's good. Yeah. If you would la, 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 let us know what you guys thought of this episode, tag us in your Stardust vids so we can put you in next week's Stardust Spotlight. And as always, you're not obligated to agree with anything we say. And while we may not agree with what everyone thinks, that's the, our channel. <laughs> well, the goal is to at least we understand each other's opinions. 
Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, we under that our channel is, we are going to say what we feel, and we're not going to be, um, uh, like, um, uh, not exactly censored, but we're going to say what we think. We're going to be honest. And just because we love a show doesn't mean we can't critique it. Exactly, and. Just like what she was saying, I was part of that with Talk to Christy as well. We just talked about um, different aspects of the show and different viewpoints that we had, and it all came together good. That's all. That's, that's what this channel is about. It's being honest and being respectful. And just like we said, we don't mute any conversations on here. We don't block comments because you're entitled to, to your opinion. Exactly. Yeah, whether you guys disagree or agree with us or not, we're not going to block you, we're not going to mute you or delete your comments like, oh, I don't agree with that, delete. No, say what you think, but let's keep this channel how it is, where we understand each other's opinions, and we conversate to understand, not to convert. Yes. All right, so, we shall see you on the